Hello everyone, this is the video number 8 in the IoT Data Simulator tool series and today we're going to send some generated payload to the ThingsBoard IoT platform. ThingsBoard is an open source project with impressive functionality available out of the box so it perfectly fits our demo needs. I have already started ThingsBoard on my computer using Docker. If you don't know how to do it, please see documentation on the official ThingsBoard site. You will find the link under this video. So, at the first step, let's create a few devices in the ThingsBoard platform. Go to Devices tab and add device here. The first one device is Dev1 with type sensor. And the second one is Dev2 with also type sensor. Now let's open Data Simulator and create a simple session with two devices. Click Create New Session, Create New Definition, Skip Dataset, and Create Simple Schema with two properties. The first one is String Device ID, and the second one is Double Temperature property. Create this definition, select it, let's use one second interval timer and now we need to create two devices with device ID property and MQTT target system as we're going to write data to the ThingsBoard platform via MQTT protocol. So the first one device is TB1 with device ID property dev1 and MQTT target system here we need to populate only access token security option let's get access token value using ThingsBoard UI and repeat the same operations for the second device. Now let's select both created devices, select all injection rule, here let's select random, random uh, rule in interval from 20 to 30 for temperature property and select device ID as device property. Okay, now let's create ThingsBoard target system. ThingsBoard platform supports different protocols for data uploading such as MQTT, HTTP and COAP. We are going to use the MQTT. So target system will have type MQTT. Since ThingsBoard is running on my local machine, the URL will be the IP address of my computer and um, as we're going to write data to the default 1883 port we can omit it here all devices in ThingsBoard should write to the following topic We're not going to specify any security options here because we have already configured two devices target systems so during the session processing the access tokens specified there will be added to this session target system. So let's create 
create a new session and I think we're ready to run it. Now let's take a look at the ThingsBoard UI, especially under Devices tab and Telemetry option for each device. As you can see, the temperature data is updated each second for both devices. Let's create a simple dashboard with time series plot chart for better data vis visibility. We need to create new dashboard and add their new widget. Let's wire our devices to this widget. And this is it. Let's pause uh, running session and you can see that there is no more data in the chart displayed. And when we resume it, everything is working as expected. Hope you'll find this information useful and that's it for today. Bye.